isn't it awesome when we talk about creating a project that is something related to home automation or that kind of thing so in this video i'm gonna do a same kind of thing so stay tuned guys and watch the video hey what's up guys shelza here helping you to design a circuit by which you can control your room light or a fan using a tv remote and in this channel we do some kind of tech reviews hardware hacking and circuit designing so if you are interested in those kind of content definitely subscribe to my channel and hey uh, don't forget to check the description because i always try to include the detailed list of extra link and everything that i forgot in this video so here i am using a modular approach to build this system so before getting started make sure that you have all the necessary modules so here the first module is arduino and here you can see it is a relay module two channel relay module and third one is the power supply and this is a ir receiver with a 4.7 microfarad capacitor so i'm going to start the connection so you have to connect this capacitor on on the positive and negative terminals of the ir receiver so as here you can see that i am connecting it now as you can see that i am connecting a jumpers into the ir module so here the red wire denotes the plus 5 volt and uh, this gray wire it will go to the ground and the third one that is yellow wire it is a signal wire so it will go to arduino's uh, digital pin now it's time to connect the ir module with our arduino nano here so as you can see that i've connected the red wire with a 5 volt gray wire with a ground and the signal wire which is yellow in color i've connected it to the digital pin 7 now in software part just make sure that ir library is installed in your arduino ide and i will take an example as you can see in the screen here as receiver is connected to pin number 7 so i will change it accordingly So here is the complete setup with a remote you can use any remote TV remote or DVD remote now you can see on the screen the hex values like uh, uh, if i am pressing 1 uh, you get a different hex values if i am pressing 2 you will get a different hex value so based on this i'll write a code here now you can see the relay module here uh, i am going to connect the jumper wires to the relay module which will go into the arduino this is the power supply which will deliver the power to the arduino as well as our relay module now i will connect the relay to digital pin 3 and 5 uh, so as you can see here the complete setup uh, that i have made now i have i have packed the power supply into a black box you can see here in the screen now i have to modify this code a little bit so that uh, it can be compatible with our main switch So as you can see here I have defined the two flags and uh, pin mode 3 as an output and pin mode uh, 5 as an output I have connected the relay 1 and relay 2 to, to those pins Now I have compared like uh, if the results dot value is equal to that hex value and the flag status is equal to 0 then the bulb will be switched on and uh, flag value will be 1 so it's a simple loop you can uh, write your own code
so as you can see here relay module is working properly here as you can see the lights now it's time to fit the complete system into our main switchboard so before playing with the main switch you should know the relay concept uh, like how relay works and uh, relay connections so i have draw the connections here so that you can easily understand the connections Now I have disconnected the fan switch and will connect the fan regulator to the relay module. So in the similar manner I will connect my light switch to the relay module So as you can see that I have placed all the modules inside the switchboard. So that's it guys for this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.